So, version 2.5 special program starts now. Really? Sleeping at a time like this? Repeat after me. Three, two, one. <sighs> Come on. Huh? Where am I? Oh, goodness. Have you already <laughs> forgotten? Why, this is the Genshin Impact version 2.5 special program! Yay! Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> I'm your host, Zach Aguilar, and today I'm joined by... Hi, everyone. I'm Retna, and I voice Yai Miko in Genshin Impact. And I'm Ann Yatko, the voice of the Raiden Shogun and A. Awesome! I'm so happy to have you both here today, and I know not only is this the first version preview of 2022, but it's also the first time you two have ever been on the special program. Are you excited? Mm. No. <laughs> That's... Kidding. Oh, uh, yeah. Kidding. I am Great. so excited. I've been watching these special the programs, box. and it's my on turn, finally. I know. I'm so side. thrilled, and I, I'm just, I'm excited to be here, and look at how cute we are. <laughs> I know. We're chibi. We have, I have pink hair. Your hair <laughs> looks great. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we've got a lot to cover today. So let's get things rolling with a first look at our new trailer let's for version 2.5. When the Sakura bloom. Let's go. Is it show the whole four minutes? No. All of Inthanomiya is engulfed in a darkness that cannot be dispelled. There have also been reports of monsters, the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Strange monsters? And an all-engulfing darkness? So you're here to help resolve this, hmm? What's with you joining forces with them? I would say this is a nice surprise, but it's really not the weapons of these guys. And oh. Kamenea is exceedingly dangerous right now. I was hoping I have the chance. This tower seems to hear my wishes. yourself my enemy? No, she was really tough the first time we had to fight her. It's true. These graphics are so great. So here's the first code. Again, I've already taken the liberty of giving you guys all three. Plain code Genshin in chat if you want them. Whew. It's good. Uh... 
you know, I think the one thing about all this is that I can imagine we're gonna see more costumes for the characters in the future. We did get some like minor detailed changes to some already. Um, but I just think like, I think the Ride and Shogun, hey, you know, she's gonna get another one as well. I guess technically we have the Ride and Shogun, but. It's, it's, uh, here. No, playing it in chat for you guys. But all three of them, and they're only good for a limited time. Welcome back, everyone. All right, let's talk about that new trailer. There was so much good stuff packed in there. What, what did you think? I think I'm super excited about Iyai Miko. What? Yes. Ah, I know, right? Um, I also, I'm excited about... Wait, was that the Raiden Shogun? Oh, uh, I don't maybe. know. Maybe. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, it was whoa. so epic. <laughs> One of the best. Oh my gosh, that trailer was so epic. Right? It was amazing. I got goosebumps. <laughs> Get your popcorn ready. Yeah. yeah seriously. <laughs> and finally, oh, I'm just so excited. Miko's finally, finally going to be playable. Right? <gasps> So I know a lot of people oh, have been waiting back. for Miko, yes. me included. Um, but in the earlier phase of version 2.5, Yai Miko will be available in the Everbloom Violet event wish. So those of you waiting for the chance to pull for Miko, your moment has come. <laughs> and in the later phase of version 2.5, both the Raiden Shogun and Sangonomiya Kokomi will be returning in their own rerun event wishes. Their reappearance will be tying in with the storylines and events coming in the new version. Ooh, mm -hmm. looks like lots of Inazuman characters are coming our way this time around. And in that addition to our so new nice. character, we will also have a new five-star catalyst weapon available in version 2.5, Kagura's Verity. Oh, I love how this weapon it, looks. Like, it is the most it unique like catalyst weapon I think I've ever seen, and it looks like something you might have seen in real life. Right? I mean, I'd really <laughs> like to wave that around when performing my spiritual tasks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could totally see Miko using that in her rituals. <laughs> totally. And anyway, travelers interested in this new weapon can keep an eye out for official announcements to follow with further details. So, without further ado, let's jump into more info about our new playable character for version 2.5, Yai Miko! Yay! Woo! I mean, Yai! She's got like a wand. It's like a wand. This is not any ordinary... User. The moon is simply magnificent tonight. We mustn't squander it. Come, join me for a moonlight stroll. I won't take no for an answer. Nice! Yeah, Never. pretty sure no one would ever turn down a moonlight stroll Here, with Yai Miko. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you gotta That's remember that this is Yai Miko we're talking about here. I mean, you turn around and see all these foxes following behind you. <laughs> hey, They're don't so be cute. jealous of Miko's fox friends. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Anyway, it does Ooh. seem that Yai Miko has taken some oh, interest in the traveler. Ooh, mm. yeah, I mean, that might be because the traveler's unusual story has caught Miko's curiosity. Right, well, she is all about interesting stories, which directly ties into her love of light novels. Nothing brings her more joy than reading about the exciting experiences and interesting lives of humans. Which is probably why she started running her own publishing house. Mm -hmm. She gets to spend time every day reading the stories of different people. And being the cunning fox that she is, I'm sure she has plenty of crafty ways of interacting mm. with people and hearing their stories. I don't know. One of the first stories we heard about her is how she lost a fried tofu ramen eating contest to an oni who's allergic to tofu. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and by the way, that kind of ramen is called kitsune ramen. So I guess you can see why Miko was serious about that competition. Hmm? <laughs> and speaking of being serious, Retna, why don't you take the lead here and introduce some of Yai Miko's combat skills for everyone? Sure thing! Yai Miko wields a catalyst and manipulates the electro element. She provides a mix of constant damage when off the field as well as high burst damage when on the field. 
Miko's elemental skill, Yakan Evocation, Seishio Sakura, causes Miko to move swiftly and leave behind something called a Seishio Sakura. These fox-shaped branches can periodically cause lightning to strike nearby. Ouch! When Miko unleashes her elemental burst, great secret art Tenko Kenshin, she will unseal nearby Seishio Sakura, destroying their outer forms and transforming them into Tenko Thunderbolts that descend from the skies. With her passive talent, the Shrine Sacred Shade, when Yai Miko uses her elemental burst, each Seishio Sakura destroyed resets the cooldown for one charge of her elemental skill. After unlocking the talent and light and blessing, Yai Miko's elemental mastery will increase the damage dealt by the Seishio Sakura. And last but not least, with Miko's talent Meditations her, of Ayako, when she crafts character talent materials, so cool. she has a set chance to create an extra talent material from the same region of a random type. The rarity of this material will be the same as the materials consumed oh, wait, during crafting. That, mean... that crafty lady. Seriously. Totally. Oh wait, my wait, gosh. wait. Does she make extra books? I mean, as she is talent? a publisher. Oh, oh my goodness. I, didn't, I never thought about that. Uh. <laughs> oh, she's so cool. I absolutely just love her design and I like, know. the this Tenko aesthetic. Thunderbolts. Right? Oh. So cool. And I love how it like smooth graceful. and graceful her fighting style is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we talk about the foxtails, please? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Don't make her angry. <laughs> oh, that's right. No. <laughs> it is said that no one who has witnessed Lady Gucci's tales has ever lived to tell of it. Although they do read her tales. Anyway, you better be careful. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> In which case, we better move on to the next part of our program. New storylines. Ooh, yay. Version 2.5 will be bringing us the continuation of the Raiden Shogun story quest, Imperatrix Umbrosa Chapter Act 2, as well as a brand new story quest for Yaimiko, Divina Vulpi's chapter. Yay. So, travelers can look forward to more story content coming for both of these characters. Ooh, awesome. So what can players expect to see in these I'm new storylines? Right <laughs> well, we can't reveal too much yet. Aww. You know, spoilers. Mm. But what we can say is that both quests are connected to the history of Inazuma. Oh, that's right. The Raiden Shogun's quest in particular will be closely linked with the Inazuma Archon quest. Mm-hmm. After completing all the recent Inazuma story content, that's you know, true. some travelers may find that. themselves wanting to know more details regarding the history of Inazuma or about the decisions of the Raiden Shogun and the future of Inazuma. Oh, I know I know want to know. Yeah. And I don't know if everyone's noticed, but there are all kinds of hints about Inazuma's past scattered throughout weapon or artifact descriptions in the game. Oh, hang on. I should go back and reread those things. <laughs> but it's safe to say that the story of Inazuma and the Raiden Shogun is far from over. The Raiden Shogun story quest That's in like the coming version will hopefully be taking players further in their understanding really of Inazuma's too, yeah. mysterious past and current situation. So Ooh. I know everybody will be looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and just as a note, travelers will be able to unlock Yai Miko's Divina Vulpi's oh, chapter after okay. completing the second act of the Raiden Shogun story quest. Yeah, in Yai Miko's story quest, the traveler and Miko will cross paths as an unusual urban legend circulates throughout Inazuma. But travelers will need to wait and see for themselves to know what happens. That's so cool. I can't wait to check out both of these new story quests. And by the way, when can we Valentine's expect Day? to see these quests? Oh, now that oh, is a great there. question. Both quests will be available after the version 2.5 update on February 16th. But just as another reminder, travelers will need to complete the Raiden oh. Shogun's new story quest first in order to unlock Yaimiko's story quest. And speaking of the Raiden Shogun's new That's story quest, travelers will find themselves encountering quite the formidable enemy. Let's take a closer look at our new enemy for version 2.5. I'm already scared. Help me. Somebody hold my hand. <laughs> wow. I love the music, too. Yeah, new boss. New boss. Whew. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> yeah. You know how they say NBD, no big deal? This is NBD, nothing but damage. 
Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I stand <laughs> no chance at all. I, well, this enemy looks pretty amazing. Uh, I, she kind of looks like Raiden Shogun, but she has all those arms? Yeah, and that super massive katana. <laughs> so, who is this new enemy? Travelers will need to experience the new story quests and unravel the true identity of this new enemy by themselves. Ooh, oh, sounds man. good. And in addition to this new enemy, version 2.5 will also be introducing a whole new series of shadowy husk enemies. Let's take a look. Ooh. They look slow, but powerful. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be a shadowy husk after fighting these guys. Scary. Did you see their weaponry? Yeah, yeah. no kidding. These guys oh, are scary. They and look strong. super intimidating. <gasps> Help. Yeah. Well, travelers will discover that there are three types of shadowy husk monsters. Standard bearers, line breakers, and defenders. Besides differences in weapons and elements, each type of enemy also has some unique characteristics. So let's take the standard bearer, for example. When its attack hit a character who's protected by a shield, it will create shields for itself and other shadowy husk monsters nearby. Okay, now that's interesting. I have a feeling we're gonna need to come up with some new Probably strategies to handle Dona, these bad guys. You know, yeah, we've covered a lot of content so far, so while we come up with some strategies, maybe we should take another break and share a redemption code. Two, oh, that sounds good. One. Okay, redemption code coming in three. Two, one. Right, hey, that's my guys. line. <laughs> I can't believe Kokomi's coming back so soon. How do we feel about this? For those of you that didn't pull on her last time, how do you feel this time? Would you pull? Because I know we've also got Raiden Shogun and Ye Miko. So I'm happy we're at least starting with Ye Miko, though. As per usual, here, <laughs> hype for this update. I'm so hyped too, honestly. It's so great. I really like Kokomi, so. She, for me, has been a great asset. And in the Abyss as well. So it should be interesting. That bow in the front, though, still gives me massive Sailor Moon vibes. <laughs> I think I'm the only one that sees it though, but. This should totally just be an anime. Like, look, they already have the graphics ready for us. Make it a show. In the Epic Games store? What did I just see? Welcome back, everyone. Oops. Next, we'll be getting into the new events travelers can expect to see in version 2.5. Our first event is that, called right? the Three Realms Gateway Offering. This event is a little different than ones we've seen in the past. The main objective of the event is exploring the map. I need to look this up. Yep. This event will be focused on exploring an event area based on Enkanomiya. Travelers will have to brave the corrosive effects of this mysterious darkness in a completely new form of event gameplay. To aid them in their exploration, travelers will be receiving a gadget called the Bokuso Box. This device will help us to resist the corrosive effects and repel the darkness. Opening chests, unlocking waypoints, and completing exploration objectives will award travelers something called Light Realm Sigils, which can be offered to the statue on the map. 
Increasing the level of your Bokusa box will not only increase your resistance to the corrosive effects, but will also unlock skills to assist you in your exploration. For example, after increasing the Bokusa box to a certain level, travelers may use it to mark nearby chests on your minimap. Right. Oh, but travelers will want to keep in mind that the corrosive darkness will accumulate over time, while the energy of the Bokuso box will gradually diminish. Once the Bokuso box's energy reaches zero, you'll be unable to defeat certain monsters in the area. Oh, no. Travelers may select the Recuperate option at the statue to remove the accumulated corrosive darkness and recharge the Bokuso box's energy to full. Yeah. There are also some useful tips that travelers will discover throughout the exploration process. For example, Light Realm cores found in luxurious chests can be used to activate Bokuso arts, which will also help us in both exploration and combat. Of course, we're just scratching the surface of this new event. Travelers will need to jump in and explore the map on their own to fully discover all that this event has in store. Travelers can participate in the event for a chance to obtain a variety of rewards, including Primo Gems, Weapon Ascension Materials, and more. Also, a new four-star catalyst weapon will be available through the event, so called the Oath Sworn company? Eye, as well as its refinement material, That'd Ointment of Sight. And that'll be helpful for sightseeing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for me. Yeah, it seems like this is the first event we've had centered around exploration. And even though the area is based on the Enkanomiya map, it will definitely be a unique experience for all our travelers. Yeah, that's right. In addition to the exploration event, Version 2.5 will include another unique event called Divine Ingenuity. The purpose of this event is to spark everyone's imagination and creativity, requiring travelers to design their very oh own domain God, using right. the resources the event has to offer. Once you've designed your own domain, you can publish your design to let other travelers test it out. Oh gosh, really Ooh, this creative. is interesting, but tell us how we do this oh exactly. So, to start with, the event is going to provide preset domains. Travelers will need to reach the target area within a set amount of time while collecting as many adventure coins along the way as possible. When making decisions of their own, travelers will be able to add, edit, or remove things in a customizable domain area. While designing an area, travelers can freely customize the destination point and the placement of adventure coins within a specified space. Also, travelers will be able to add a variety of terrain, mechanisms, traps, or even buffs in a different places to add difficulty to their custom domain or provide a little assistance to the challengers. Oh, this is juicy. <laughs> and additionally, travelers can edit the completion criteria or domain wow. limitations in the settings located on the upper left corner of the editor menu. <laughs> now, of course, before anyone will be able to publish the custom domain they've created, they must first uh -huh. complete it, which makes of complete course. sense. <laughs> you went there. <laughs> I did. <laughs> because, you see, you can't be sharing content that you, as the creator, can't even finish. Okay, fair. That I makes mean, sense, but yeah. can I finish anything? Really? Probably not. <laughs> we I believe, believe you. you can. I mean, this is really cool, though. You can make your own obstacle course. Yeah. No. Oh, could put fire oh, traps, awesome. right? And Crow invite traps. your friends to come play. Yeah. Wait a sec. I just thought of something. Maybe what? I can create something that I can finally complete. It. There you go. That's, I love that. I, I love, love this. this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we definitely encourage everyone to try it out and one? create some interesting domains to share with others. Just remember to share your domain ID or upload Done. a video of your domain online to let more You've travelers come and before, experience right? your right. creation. In version 2.5, we'll have another new event for travelers to flex their creative muscle called Of Drink A Dreaming. I think this will be a little more on the casual side compared to designing your own domains. In yes. this event, travelers will be taking on the role of a bartender at D. Luke's Tavern, Angel Share, and serving up some drinks to familiar faces. Ooh, oh, no fun. it'll be up to us to whip up the delicious non-alcoholic drinks. We'll start with a foundation for the drink and then add other ingredients as flavorings. Travelers will need to add three to five different ingredients and then follow the instructions to mix the drink and pour it according to the customer's order. <laughs> okay, this is really starting oh, to yeah. sound like a simulation game and I am here for it. <laughs> oh yeah, a yummy one. Yes. In addition to some established recipes, some drinks will require travelers to experiment according to some hints. It's up to travelers to put on their bartender's hats and experiment with different combinations. After successfully mixing a special type of drink for the first time, its drink recipe will be unlocked. Travelers oh, cool. may collect recipes to unlock an event-exclusive name card. 
You know, it's actually pretty entertaining to see the traveler mixing drinks. <laughs> it totally <laughs> is. And in addition to mixing drinks, oh, travelers fine. will have the opportunity to meet with I some like familiar this. characters throughout the event story. By completing short interactions with characters and collecting drink recipes, travelers will not only gain some nice rewards at Angel's Share, but also spend a fun and relaxing time Me with their favorite four. characters. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Me too. Ooh, Me too. <laughs> well then, after enjoying a nice relaxing time in the drink mixing event, travelers will be ready to head back out and face some more challenging events. In version 2.5, oh. we'll be seeing a return of the Hyakunin Iki event. Travelers who played the Hyakunin Iki event the first time around should already be pretty familiar with this event. We will need to organize teams of two characters each that will tag in against waves of enemies. When a team clears a wave of enemies, we'll accumulate fervor, which increases ferocious fervor and our character's combat potential. Travelers may defeat enemies to increase their score, and certain nemesis enemies will be worth a higher score value. Travelers will then be rewarded different levels of insignias oh, based one. on the score you obtain. What's different this time around is that there will be new trial characters along with new secret arts, which can be equipped to your teams to help you handle the waves of enemies. After achieving a score that surpasses the set levels of insignia, travelers can earn a special insignia that includes up to a maximum of three stars. Travelers will need to spend some time and effort if they wish to achieve the glory that is a three-star insignia. So it is rather glorious. Mm -hmm. Finally, in the later part of version 2.5, travelers will see another return of the overflowing mastery event. Be sure to check what your characters require and save up some resin to get those talent ascension materials you need. Next, we have some exciting info about a future version to share with everyone. There is a massive area that travelers have been waiting to explore, which has already been part of the map for some time now. In our future update for version 2.6, Travelers will be able to delve into the chasm. Right. Oh, wow. So travelers can expect a completely new area to explore in the version following 2.5. Oh, man, the chasm? Now, I'm sure lots of players have been curious about what we'll find down there. Yeah, here, as a sneak peek, we have some concept art to reveal along with a basic okay. description of the area. Ooh. This is the surface of the chasm with jagged rock walls containing strange stones and mysterious ores. The mine is rich with glazed sand crystal, a precious raw material often used in making Liyue's porcelain. Because of special geological conditions, the soil and vegetation in this area have a distinctive color. Here, we see the chasm's wow. underground mines area. The pathways of the chasm's underground mines are intricate Thanks and complex, <laughs> and are treacherous to navigate thanks to recent developments. The mines are not only rich in minerals, but the special environmental conditions have given rise to unique fluorescent plants. Of course, danger also awaits in the chasm. Travelers will need to keep an eye out for the ruin serpent that inhabits the area. This ruin machine that looks like a giant serpent has recently come alive for reasons unknown. It slithers quietly in the shadows of the mine to pave <laughs> a way to the known world for unknown dangers buried in the depths of the chasm. Judging from its appearance and movement, kind of looks like it looks to be a bit, digging though, machine of some sort. Oh boy, I really don't want that serpent to ruin me, right? It also like feels onyx. like there's some history to the chasm, or perhaps some deeper story behind it. Yeah, there totally is. So legend has it that Ejdaha and Rex Lapis fought their battle here. The ancient battlefield has remained to this day as a reminder for everyone. Once the chasm is available, Travelers will be able to explore the depths and discover what secrets await in the darkness below. Oh, wow. dun, dun, dun. <gasps> that sounds all amazing. Yeah, that's okay, next but we have covered a lot of details for both the coming version and a future update. So why don't we take another break? Ooh, and it's about time we give away our third and final redemption code. Are you ready, little one? Yeah, are you ready? You can I'm do ready. this. I'm ready. Go on. So again, do it. Go get it. Code Genshin in chat, and you'll get all three codes. So if you guys missed um, the first two, if you guys are just joining. Make sure to get them in though today. Am I going to wish for you, Miko? I have to have her. I have to. I'm so ready for 
for her to come, to be honest. But the big question is, is how are we going to use her? Main or sub? I feel like she'd make a good sub. But I'd love to use her as a main, you know? <laughs> Based on, you know, the appearance of her attack. It's so, it's so great. You're gonna use her as a sub? I, again, I'm kind of surprised she's not a little bit more OP, but... I think they could have made her a lot stronger with all the hype that they had built around her, but... We'll see. She's not, she's not out to us yet, so... It's all how we build her. The world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. Yes, and just like that, we've reached the end of the version 2.5 special program. Oh, no. No! You know, I can see why A was so attached to the idea of eternity, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you just don't want things to end. Oh, chibi hugs. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I agree, but... She might have gone a little too far. I mean, a little bit. Love it. yeah, yeah, just, I, I know, I, I know that. Yeah. Path, so. <laughs> so, anyways, how did you two enjoy being on the special program? Oh my gosh, I had the best time. Thank you so much for having me on. I cannot wait for so players nice. to get to know more about the Raiden Shogun in 2.5. And I cannot wait to learn how to make some tasty new non-alcoholic drinks in the brand new event. Um... I reiterate this. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for having me. And uh, you guys, she's finally here. She is. Yaimiko's here. Yay. Uh, I can't wait for you to learn more about her adventures and, you know, just explore the world with her. And by the way, there are a lot of scary <gasps> monsters, so help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, help. Me too. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many things I'm excited for. I think I am super, super excited there's for so much uh, divine ingenuity and making oh, right. my own amazing domain that hopefully I'll be able to complete if I'm skilled enough. But you are. And me. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, no, it's been absolutely amazing having you guys on the special program. And yeah, I'm just yes, excited to jump into this game. Yes, Let's all play together. Steam. Yes, okay. please. Yeah. Just to remind everyone, remember to save the date for the new version dropping on February 16th. Got it. And February be 16th. sure to follow the official announcements for more information and updates. And we hope to see everyone in version 2.5. With that, our program has reached its end. <gasps> I'm so sad to say that, but also, thanks everyone for joining us today. I can't wait to see you in the game. Yes, thank you everyone. Yeah, oh, thanks everybody. Kind of Bye. Bye. See you in the game. Kind of Later. That... Yeah, I just, I love so, so much. It was great. So anyways, just quickly, 2.6. Ayaka's brother, apparently. That's the latest. Kamisato Aito. I think he is going to be what's the bottom of the chasm. He's just waiting down there for us. So is this going to be, I'm guessing this is sword, right? Not polearm. Just off of the appearance of it. But I don't underestimate the power of the freaking polearm. There are so many polearm characters, I feel. Apparently it's pretty balanced, but I just feel like we've had so many overpowered polearm users or essential polearm users. But yeah, crazy. I saw the resemblance though right away, right away. So I am so happy about this. Really, really happy. Okay, so... Next on the agenda is going to be actually playing some actual Genshin.